Hey guys, Fox here. Thought I'd do a quick video and do a quick unboxing of the latest re-release of Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 in the same box. Uh, so, I forgot which system I got this for. <laughs> um, looks like a PlayStation 1 here. We'll take a look at everything. First, the artwork of the box, you have the Trails of Cold Steel 3 art, and on the other side is a 4. Very nice. Now let's look at the contents here. First up, we have the game, which I have the PS5 copy here. I thought I ordered the Switch one, but yeah, it's fine. I already have them on the Switch, so lost there um, it's kind of interesting they did a re-release of the third and fourth game I'm not sure why maybe just as a quick cash grab obviously they got some money from me but I don't know this feels pretty heavy too so I got a full instruction book in it probably <clears throat> and let's see here we've got looks like some other items that I might have seen before Got these foily, like uh, postcard size art. Let's take a look. Got one with green there. These are pretty cool, though. Pro. It's all the knights. So, yeah. Very cool. I like those. It's a really nice. And then we've got another set of postcards. These are actual postcards. Just kind of funny. Does anybody do postcards anymore? I don't think that's a thing, really. Crossbill. Heimdall, Leaves, yes, yeah, so I believe these postcards were in one of the other collector's editions. Mortis, Parm, and Raquel. That's cool. We also have, actually, a hardback book here, Chronicles of the Twilight. It's pretty thick. It's like a small hardback book. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be artwork. Yeah. For the characters here. It's like some class 7 folks. And. Ah, uh, the non playable ones. Well, some of them are. And we got some actual art pieces, which is cool. I like that. And then back here, it looks like we have some character bios. That's neat. And some more art. Looks like we got some sketch work. Some town sketches. Oh, and some actual sketches. That's very cool. That's a nice little mini art book, but it's pretty full. It's a lot of art in there. And lastly, it's something that I was actually excited to have here, which is a map. And I believe it's a cloth map. I love video game maps. I put them on the wall. I frame them up. So this is the main reason that pulled me into <laughs> buying this $100 collector's edition was to get an actual map. So, I will pull this sucker. It's kind of a weird cloth. I'm gonna have to iron this sucker out though. Pick up the camera here. And there you have it. It's of Arabonia. It's actually a really nice map. Excellent. 
We had all the town names and stuff like that on here. Very cool. This one will be framed and thrown up on my little map wall. So, excellent. Well guys, there you have it. There is unboxing of the collector's edition for the re-release of Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4 on one disc with a bunch of goodies. So if you never bought either of the um, collector's editions when they were first released, this is an excellent option because you're getting most of the good goodies from those uh, collector's editions and now you get two for one. So it's actually a pretty good deal. Really it is, so. All right guys, thanks for watching.